Well lads, what's the crack? My name is Orto J Runner and welcome back to Resident Evil 3, which should be the last part, part 10. It sounds like a very good part to end on, a very even number. So let's make this the last video instead of dragging out the series needlessly. Plus I want to get back to Final Fantasy 7 as well. I said in the last Final Fantasy 7 video that it would only be the one video I make, but I might go back and play it again. For the YouTube channel, of course, but um, yeah, I might, might do that. So let's see, what do we have in here? More gunpowder. Uh, well, uh, do we need a USB key? We probably do. Little disposable sign or bin sign isn't up in it, so I must still need it. So I'll keep it on my person for now. Okay, what I do need to do is give myself some healage. There we go. Uh, do I have another herb to bring me back up to the green instead of the yellow? No, but I do have another first aid spray. Mm. Decisions, decisions. Okay, no, I'll store this. Okay, so what do I have to do? Oh, you have to make the vaccine and I can use the USB key here, I think. Yes. Okay, so we're good on inventory spaces now. Does that mean I should go back and get another first aid spray? No, no, I won't, I won't. I won't need another one if I be careful. Back up. Sit back up. Back up, Billy. Oh. <gasps> oh, shit. There is no threshold here. <gasps> oh, God, no. I thought some of the zombies couldn't pass a certain threshold in the game, no? I thought there was going to be a bit of a crash barrier. Apparently I was wrong. Get down you go, buddy Bob. You gonna stay down? That's the most important question. Oh, no. No, back to sleep. I said back to sleep. <gasps> oh dear. I fucked up. I fucked up. Okay, now I definitely need my first aid spray. Okay, I'm gonna take this one out. And I don't have anything else. Oh, I have mixed herbs. Wait, hold on. Oh, I thought I had two high-grade gunpowders there for a second. No, I just had one. And I'll take out my... I'll take out the flame rounds while I'm here as well. Because they stack, and I'll also take out the, 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 the mine rounds. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. Okay, yeah, we're all good in the hood. Okay, so this is where I want to be. Oh. There's two of you. Well, good thing I know what takes care of you, Lickety Split. My old Desert Eagle, or what is it called? Lightning Hawk. Yeah, same thing. Boop! Wait, how the hell are you still alive? Oh, they regenerate, don't they? Well, try regenerating from that. Ah! Bollocks, that was one freaking bullet I wasted. Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. Okay, come back, come back. Come to Robbie. <gasps> no, 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 actually, don't, 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 you stay in there. Oh, come on, that's three. Screw it. Shotgun time. And of course you're not dead. But you most certainly will be. Oh, oh no. Still not dead. Okay, back to the eagle. Okay, now you're all dead. 
Thanks. I don't feel comfortable wasting all this ammo on you. It's just not worth it. Oh, we got a note. Wait, is there another one? There freaking is. So I'll just see. <coughs> Shipping notice. Cargo Nemesis. Shipping route. CDG to GFK to RC. Okay. And shipping date is September 1st, 1998. Shipment type, class 1, hazardous materials. Additional notes. All transit within the United States is to be made via helicopter. Take extreme care during takeoff and landing, as shock to the parcel may potentially lead to self-activation. We here at the European branch are excited to hear your thoughts and evaluation of this newest prototype and are pleased to offer this specimen to you for testing. It has been through numerous trials and possesses incredible destructive power, so please exercise extreme caution when using it. Lead developer Dr. Herman Frankel. Okay, so Nemesis didn't come from America, it came from Europe. Well, at least we know he was a specimen of culture. Okay. Definitely not going to miss this stuff. Whoa, Jesus Christ, these things are speedy! Oh my god. I need to craft more mag ammo. So that means I need to find another gunpowder somewhere. A large gunpowder, preferably. Don't suppose I'll find one here. No, but I do have more shotgun shells, which is nice. Explosive A. And I have an explosive B back in the safe box. Hey, buddy. You're not going to scare me, are you? Or eat me? Okay, I'll be taking this. Scientist's dying message. It's happened. Our worst case scenario. The T virus has somehow leaked. Under orders from Dr. Baird, I'm to manufacture mass quantities of the vaccine. I've prepared a culture of the T virus antigen. Now I just need to combine it with an adjuvant to enhance its effects, and I should be able to produce enough vaccine to save all the surviving citizens. The adjuvant samples are stored in the incubation lab. Test subjects are already wandering the halls, but I'd better find a way to get some samples while the culture is maturing. If I don't make it back, please complete the synthesis process. Try to find a way to stop this outbreak. It's the least we can do after setting these horrifying events in motion. Well, it's the least I can do. I suppose, if that makes sense. Okay, gunpowder. Uh, okay, he's not zombified, so... He ain't gonna do anything. Like I said, it's the least I can do. And uh, I've got no room. Wait, hold on. What? Oh, I've explosive rounds in here. Oh boy. Okay, I'll leave the acid rounds there for the time being. I'll just let them sit nice and pretty. First step when it's at home. Ooh, behind here probably. Oh yeah, it's that big red thing, probably. This must be what powers it. Huh. For, excuse me. Oh. You're not gonna let me power it, are you? Not without a fight. Well, good thing I'm packing. Whoa, get back. Oh, Jesus, criminy Christmas get back. Okay, good. You're down. And that's what I like to see. Ooh, more first aid spray. Pity I don't need it. But I'd rather have it. I just don't have, have the room. I don't have the space. Okay, now we get the power back up and running. Speaking of back up, you're not going to get back up, are you? Oh, of course. Of course you would. Get back. 
How many times do I have to teach you this lesson, old zombie pan? Get down. Wait, did I call him old zombie pan? I meant to say old zombie man. Whatever. It don't matter what done is done. The main thing was taken down. Oh, hi. Oh. Shit, you just know what's gonna happen in here. One of these things is gonna break out and do the oogie boogie. So these are all tyrants. These are tyrants. I knew it. Look. They're um, variants of Mr. X. Oh, God. Damn, these are probably failed though. I mean, look at them, they're all bent and out of shape. The Mr. X in Resident Evil 2, he was uh, pretty tall and muscular. Didn't have any, any growths like, like these guys. Whoa. And these are on. Is this where they're made? Yeah, these are on the hunters. Oh, I almost missed this. What's in here? Explosive B. Can I combine it with this? Oh, of course I can. Then combine this with this. Boom. Nice. Okay, I just know when I come back through this way, once I've collected my um, adjuvant or culture, wh wh whatever it is, one of those things is going to do the oogie boogie. Got my eyes on you. Oh! Out of the way. Company! Oh god, one of those things from crying out loud. Uh, guess I can use a mine round. Oh, I'm definitely using a mine round. Okay, lads, get back. Back it up. Okay, that didn't take care of you. I was hoping it would. But the shoddy finished the job, as always. Good old faithful. Okay, what do we have in here? Excuse me. Whoa! Okay, um... I'm not sure if I want to waste my eagle on you. Eh, might as well. If I can get in one good headshot. Just one. <gasps> Jesus Christ, get off! Frickin' freak at nature! Oh! One shot, one kill! Yeah, that's the Jill I like to see. Any more guys in here? No? Oh! What are these things? Oh Christ! Get back! Please don't tell me that the. Don't tell me that these are babies or something like that. Please don't be that gross. That it would be so wrong and so disturbing. Oh, note. Pick it up, Jill. Expression of concern. Senior fellow Dr. Frankel. Please allow me to send my heartfelt congratulations to you and your colleagues at Umbrella Europe for completing Nemesis, a truly remarkable achievement in the field of bioweapons research. Introducing a parasitic organism into a tyrant's brain to gain external control of it? How can I not marvel at such a wild idea? However, from a medical perspective, I must empathetically state my disapproval of this shift away from established umbrella policy. Can you say the same for parasites, however? Doctors have tried in vain to develop a vaccine for malaria. Parasites like Plasmodium are far more genetically complex than the T-virus and to think they will submit to control is utter folly. Perhaps in your country, consumers are willing to buy automobiles with no brakes, but here in America, they know better. God bless America. Then again, I recall you have a degree in economics, so no doubt you've already devised a brilliant marketing strategy to win over the naysayers. 
I look forward to your talk at the forum in Berlin next month. In the meantime, I shall be exploring medical solutions to this hubristic problem you foisted on us. Sincerely, Nathaniel Barrett, PhD. Oh, you just figured that out now? So, Nathaniel Bard, Dr. Bard, wasn't on board with it? Well, because it was using parasites. Ooh, liquid filled test tube, nice. An adjuvant serum. These are combined with antigens to increase immune system response. Yeah, good on you, Jill, for figuring that one out. Okay, uh, I can combine this with this. Boom. Flame rounds plenty. I'll probably need them because you just know if the tyrants don't break out, the hunters will break out. That's what's going to happen. It's inevitable. It is a cliche. You pick up a key item, something scary is going to happen to you. Okay, I'll get out my explosive rounds. No, I'll save them. I'll. I'll definitely use the mine rounds though. Two of them. Maximum of two. Okay, just wait for it. Take it. Got my eyes on you. These things are living and breathing. The Tyrant Sour, uh, I can't say the same thing, but I, I could be wrong. I mean, if I was to turn my back on something. It, def it definitely would be deterrence, because they don't have claws. <gasps> oh, shit, son, I knew it. Oh, that's right, get wrecked. Uh, another one? <gasps> get back. Okay, that's it. I'll finish you off with a shotgun. Oh, how the hell did I dodge that? Oh, freaking growl of me. Is that all? Ooh, doogies. Okay, I'll use this now. Keep hold of the green herb. Okay, no one else is going to break out. No, no more prison breaks. You sure about that? We good? Okay. Brilliant. And there's a first aid spray back here, I believe. Oh yeah, I'll be taking that. Um, and there's also an explosive round upstairs. Well, not explosive rounds, but... Um, the little uh, capsules that I can buy, but I don't have enough room in my inventory yet again. Oh wait, hold on. Maybe. I switch to flame rounds. No, flame rounds. Uh, no, even though I switch to flame rounds, I don't have enough space. Wait. I can work this out. Okay, no, I can't work this out. I, I'll never have enough room, so I'll just have to come back. And retrieved him at another stage. So I'll free up some more room by depositing my explosive rounds. Okay, back up here to get our our, our other liquid filled test tube. Ooh, is it in here? Yeah, Robby is, and once I pick it up, Karen over there is gonna get up and do the Yogi Boogie. Oh, the culture sample. Okay. Oh. Because I've got the ad antigen and the adjuvant, and I've got to take care of Karen here because she's in a foul mood. Doesn't like me messing with her research. Oh my god, Karen, get away! Jesus Christ. Let's not fight at a time like this, Karen. Let's not do it. 
Oh, I had no other choice. She was just being belligerent. Okay, more gunpowder. Lots more. Okay, and we got one more note, probably from Karen here. Weaponry authorization request. Dear Dr. Emerson, I would like to formally request that the weaponry normally reserved for the bioweapon synthesis team be made available for any employees interfacing with the admission and dismissal of test subjects. These test subjects do not present the same levels of danger as our bioweapon products, but I believe that this weaponry authorization is advisable as outlined below. Recently, some test subjects have developed a new mutation granting them very high regrowth abilities. Our team refers to these specimens as pale heads. They've been appearing with regularity, but the specific cause has not been determined. The astonishing rate at which these pale heads regenerate makes it difficult to deliver a lethal blow with standard weaponry. If any sort of system failure were to occur within our facility, we would be woefully underprepared to defend ourselves. For this reason, I would like to request that high powered weaponry capable of subduing the pale heads be issued to all of our employees working in shipping and processing. This will ensure that, in the event of an emergency, we will be able to quickly eliminate the threat and evacuate safely. Thank you very much for your consideration. Shipping and Processing Manager, Gabriel Reed. Okay. I'm guessing that didn't go to plan? Fucking Karen here is way more dangerous than any goddamn pale head. Head, 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 pale head. Pale hell, says I. Oh, whatever, okay. More handgun ammo that was desperately needed. Speaking of which, I can craft a shit ton of that now. Uh, I should... Wait. Where did my green herb go? Did I wait that away? I probably did put it away. Yeah. Safely away in my little books. Excuse the hell out of me. Oh! Back it up. And he still lives. Fair play to you, buddy. But not for long. Whew. Quite a sturdy little fucker, ain't you? Okay, let's... Put a few things away and take one or two things out. Green herb. Um, wait, hold on. Is there a Mr. Red Herb somewhere? There's a red herb somewhere up there. Okay, got that red herb and Jesus Christ. Uh, are these more test subjects in here? And these sort of vacuum bags? Oh, Jesus Christ. Christ, that is so creepy. So weird and so unnecessary. Okay, I'll put away my gunpowder. Actually, no, uh, I'll make some more handgun bullets. Because I've got lots of gunpowder here. Look. But what I'll do first, I'll combine these two. The liquid fill, the liquid fill test tube and the adjuvant or culture sample, whatever. What? Can I not combine these? Oh yeah, the vaccine base. There we go. Perfect. Okay, time to make the vaccine. Oh. Not just yet. Um. Okay, I'm guessing they all have to be at 50. No. Wait. 50 is in the green. So I'm guessing that 50 is the perfect temperature. Uh... No, no, no. Okay, uh, let's start this again. So low. Okay, now that's at mid. This is also at mid end. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Okay, 
Yeah, where do I bring the vaccine to? That is the question. Oh, 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 wait. I didn't even pick it up. City me. There we go. Jesus Christ, he is very, very persistent, I tell you. I mean, God damn it, Nemesis, no means no. But you want to bet that this still hasn't killed him? Oh, okay, back at another safe house here. And again with more munitions. Okay, so we've got high grade gunpowder. Just what I needed. I want to make mag ammo. And explosion A. And of course more first aid spray. And more explosive and flame rounds. Sweet. Yeah, all right. I think I've taken just about everything from here. Yep. Yeah, nothing left back here. No, no, it's no nothing. Oh. What in God's name is this place? I just want to check one last. Oh, and you me caught my eye back here. Disposal center. Oh, that's the place outside. This facility is to be used for the dissolution and disposal of test subjects used in Nest 2 experiments. The potent solvents used will ensure that any biological matter within the vat, living or dead, is completely dissolved and ready for disposal. Please follow all safety protocols when using the disposal center. Okay. Always confirm that no employees are in the chamber before beginning the dissolution process. Always use the regulated amount of solvent regardless of the volume or mass being disposed of. If a test subject reacts violently, do not halt the process. Leave the chamber filled for at least 12 hours, then check for complete dissolution before draining. Oh, so it's where bad people and bad things go to die. In other words, oof, probably not the most humane way to go. I totally disavow, by the way. What? Is there something over there? Check this little back area to the left of the door. Uh, is there anything left lying at the fear? No. Oh, oh, a box. Ah, it's just flame rounds. Well, again, like I keep saying, better to have them and not need them than need them and not have them. And again, same thing over here, there's nothing, no. Business to get paid. 
So, let's make a deal. You go down there, settle the nemesis, and I'll record it all and sell the combat dart. Put on a good show, and maybe I don't need the vaccine. Agreed? Good! Nikolai, you really are a piece of shit. What's wrong with here with Nemesis? I mean, I'm a defenseless woman. Well, mostly defenseless. Well, I suppose I am kind of armed to the seat, but you know, I'm no match for Nemesis. Freaking pleb. Whoa, whoa. Easy up, Nemi. <gasps> too close, too close. Oh, what the? Oh, Jesus Christ, he's tearing up my giblets. Okay, health boys, how am I doing? Uh, caution. Not too bad. But I probably should keep my distance from now on. And use a hell lot more of these. Jill, is that you? Oh, Carlos, my man, you're back. You're okay. Let me spot for you. Good idea. Uh, Carlos, I don't exactly need a gym buddy just now. I'd prefer if you got your ass down here and help me. Wait, where are you going? Oh, you're doing your hiding technique again now? Okay. Whatever. Oh. Watch it. You've got company. Yeah, you're telling me. Back it up, Karen. Okay, tank seven. Uh, just one. Boop. And. Boop. Oh, you don't need to tell me twice. Oh! Back it up. Oh, nice. Dodging works wonders once you get the timing down. Oh, so he has a bit of a pattern. Yep, now I see him. Oh! Son got wrecked yet again. He's hiding behind tank three. Okay, tank three, tank three. He's behind number three. Yeah. Okay. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh, and Nemi is throwing a tantrum. Okay, get out of my face. Oh, Jesus. Please don't tell me I'm dead. Oh no, but I am on black and white. Can I blame you, Barry? And more good sweet Christ. Number six. Number six. There we go. I got this. Oh sweet. Not what I intended to hit. Well I'll take it. Yep. Better hit him somewhat than know what. Jesus. Oh, God damn it. Oh, son, get absolutely destroyed. Oh, that's my line. Well, of course, my line. I just use it, but I'm the one being destroyed, is what I meant. Here comes some more. 
where the fuck do these things keep coming from? Oh, am I right? Jeez. I have to hit this little thing. Oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, oh shit. I don't have a lot of ammo left. Get that thing, I can't dodge. I'm fucking burned. Okay, where are you heading now? Oh, what's this? Oh, first stage right just what I needed. Number two, where's number two? Oh, here. <gasps> Damn it! It's too late. Oh, thank God I got that first stage right. Don't want to go down. No? Okay, I should ideally stay at the very far end of Nemesis. And maybe counter him a small bit. How the hell do I go about shooting that thing? I don't have enough time. Am I right? <laughs> oh, oh, no, 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 Lovely. Got some more incoming. Okay, gotta ignore the, the uh, small fry. Number seven. Okay. Down he goes. Sammy, he's dead. Chill. Here comes a crane. Use it to climb up. Come on. Come on. Now get on. Yeah, Nikolai, where did you go, you backstabbing I son of a bitch? Yeah, after all, I did fight Nemesis and I did kick his ass. N Nemesis down? Question mark? Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. Oh, and there's more stuff in here. Another first aid spray. Treat him. Nice. Okay, what's this book about? Weapon spec sheet. The triple X redacted project title: Ferromagnetic Infantry Use Next Generation Railgun. Whoa! Sounds like we're about to get a powerful weapon. 
development codename Finger. Chief developer Nest2 lead researcher Colonel Garner, or Cornell Garner, I should say, apologies. Assisting developers United States Army, ammo caliber 60mm, muscle velocity 6000m a second. Whoa, that's far from. Project objective suppression of new bioweapons in case of outbreak. Additional notes. Extreme firepower provides the secondary benefit of completely obliterating the target, leaving no trace behind. User feedback. This thing is totally rad. Tyrants out of line? Just give him the finger and problem solved. <laughs> I like that. Packs the firepower we need. It would be even better if there was a way to control the output. Mobility may prove to be problematic in the field. Perhaps its platform could be refined? It requires multiple power sources. May be difficult to secure in practice. Could you consolidate to a single power source? Not gonna happen. Wait, is there a weapon I'm supposed to pick up here? Somewhere? Somewhere close by? I'm not missing it, am I? I'm, I'm assuming it's a key weapon and I can't progress without it. So I'm definitely going to pick it up somewhere. Yeah, why do I get the feeling that Nemesis ain't a freaking down? It's done. Give me the vaccine, you greedy son of a bitch. No, 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 no. You need money. I like her. We shall make ours an ongoing arrangement. Now drop the gun! Good sweet lord. He is even a hundred times uglier than before. Ooh, Nelly. Oh, wait. Is, is this the really gun? Oh, sweet. I'm away, Nemesis. Uh, hand gun ammo? No, I'll. Take the first aid, right? Thank you. Okay, now we've got some power. How do I use this thing? Just one, one shoot, right? I think Nemesis is going to let me reactivate the power anytime soon. Let's hit these bulges on him, probably. Poof. Oh, and I definitely felt that one as well. Oh, popping boils. Okay, no wonder why I have so many freaking first aids here. Oh, there's, there's how many? There's three. Three power sources I need to reactivate myself manually. Okay, gotta pop these last two. I should put them down for a while. Okay, come on, little Jilly Tilly, you can do it. It's one. I 
thing is disgusting. Uh oh. Wait, hurry up. <sighs> Shit. One more last time. I gotta take out these boils again. <gasps> Ooh. Yeah, I got skills. What you gonna do, Baron Nemi? Okay, I got some skills. Not a lot, but some. Hey, stop throwing a tantrum because you're getting your ass handed to you by a woman. Last one. And down he goes again. Okay, hopefully, I just need to fire that one last time. Come on, Jillington. Let's do it. One last time. Here we go. And this time, it's going right in your mouth. Open wide. Okay, now it's just down. So it's his trophy shit. Well, he should be down after that. I mean, look, he's freaking destroyed. Ugh, and I'm covered in goop. Grenade. I'm gonna have more first aid spray. I missed all of these. Best double check over here as well. No, nothing else. Okay, fine. That's absolutely spectacular. Oh god, my shoes are gonna be covered with somebody's or some things inside, so what remains of them? Okay, so just to finish up some loose ends with our old pal Nikolai. Wherever the hell he went. I hope so too, but normally the male hero always dies. He's a tragic hero. Do it! You have to! Oh, 
There's no other way. Get okay, shoot him in the foot. She won't do it. Right in the foot. Please. Okay, I thought we might have got an alternate ending there. Still, what a cutscene though. empty and cold as the heat from the blast washed over us. All of this death wasn't caused by a monster-making virus. It was greed. Human greed. I decided then and there, the ashes of Raccoon City would be Umbrella's ashes too. I would end them, once and for all. Alright, that was Resident Evil 3. Now, I don't think it was as long as its predecessor, Resident Evil 2, unfortunately. But what it definitely did make up for it was its uh, learning curve, its difficulty. Yeah, sure, the dodge mechanic wasn't that great, I'll be honest, you had to be almost pixel perfect with that. The timing had to be exact to dodge zombies right, or the right way, because I ended up using it either far too late or far too early I couldn't get the timing down but what I did make up for in that aspect in losing health was its abundance of ammunition and health items it threw at you in comparison to Resident Evil 2 remake as well now story wise I can't really compare to Resident Evil 3 on a PS1 nor gameplay wise well obviously gameplay wise it's way better but I've been reading a lot about it, apparently there was a lot of things cut from this game. A lot of areas that were in Resident Evil 3 didn't make it to the remake and a lot of people are let down by that. I can't really commentate on that because 
I haven't played the original Resident Evil 3. I must go back and play it at some stage if I ever get a copy of it, but those types of games are, well, I won't say they're hard to come by, but they're very expensive to buy nowadays. Some people sell them for about 60 euro, 80 euro, whatnot, especially with the remake coming out, it'll be a little bit more valuable. That, that being said, yeah, I did thoroughly enjoy the game. I can't really fault it as such. Because each person's perspective of the game is different. Because there's no such thing as a bad game or a good game, really. It's all sort of uh, unique to every player. And yeah, I definitely will be going back playing hardcore mode at some stage. I don't know when, but sometime in the future. Because I have a hell of a backlog of games to play here. Starting with God of War, Red Dead Redemption 2, Kingdom Hearts 3, which I haven't even played yet. God damn it, I have such a huge backlog. It is ridiculous so you guys know what to do if you did enjoy this video be sure to give it a thumbs up comment favorite share with your friends and of course subscribe and i will see you in the next one so on to next time see ya